Welcome to this episode. In this episode, we are going to create a model, a controller, and a migration for our two tables that we have in the database. We are going to have questions table, and we are also going to have a quest, an, an answers table. And in this case, in the questions table, we just have the questions. In the answers table, we will have the answers, and we also have the ID of the question, such that the question will be related to the answer. Of course, we have to ensure that we are running our ZAMP. So I have opened the control panel and I've clicked Apache and MySQL to start. So all of them are running. And then of course, I'm going to uh, type in a command here that is going to create for us a model. And just to mention, a model represents sort of like a way of interacting with the data from our database. And then a controller will handle the HTTP requests and we can also use a controller to handle the logic. Even though as you build more robust applications, you require to have another place where you can be able to move most of the code such that a controller will only handle one uh, response, in this case, following the single responsibility principle. So, and then a migration is just a structure of how our tables are going to look like. So let us go ahead and create the questions model. And then in this case, as we create the question model, I want us to together with that, create a migration and create a controller at the same time. So I'm going to just uh, type here php artisan and this is a command that you will find that you're using in Laravel to do so many things. And so in this case for creating a model we can say make model and then we have to state which model do we want, we want to create. So in this case we are going to say question. So question model. And I want to tag several things so I will put a hyphen and I'm going to say we want migrations and we want a controller. And in this case maybe also let this controller be a resource controller. So I've typed dash MCR and we are going to press enter. And you can see uh, several things have been created and I want to show you what has been created actually. So when we go to app HTTP controllers, you can see we have question controller. So this is a controller that has been created for us. And when we look inside it, of course, it has the index method create, then uh, every other method here, edit, update, destroy. Of course, we will use some of these methods, but others you might not find useful. And then I also want to do the same to create the answers model. But before we create the answers model, let me show you the other things that were also created. When we go to models, we can also see we have question model and it looks like this. We will do a little bit of amendment with the time and maybe change a little bit of uh, things here and there or maybe do some additions. And then when we also go to database and then under migrations, you can also see that we have a, a schema of our database. So in this case, we have we are creating a table called questions and then we have ID and we are going to add other things here shortly. Let me also create the answers answer model such that when we also begin working with the tables now or the migrations, when we modify the migrations, we can be able to do so without any uh, confusions of moving here and there. So let us also say PHP artisan make model. And in this case, our model is called answer. The name of the model is always singular. And then the table will be answers. So plural. And then again, I will tag M for migration, C for controller, and I want it to be resource. So you put R. Because if you do not put the request it to be a resource controller, what will happen is that it will be, to be created, but it will be blank. And then you require to create some of these things by yourself. So we also have created that one. I want us to go to migrations and do some small work here. And I want us to begin with the, the questions, the question uh, migration. So we will go to database again database migrations and then the second last is the one that we created so this one will be the questions and under the questions um, migration i want us to just create one more column because already these are three columns the I, I, table of id and it is big integer and then we also have the timestamps and in this case the timestamp comes with updated at 
a column called updated that and created that so those three already exist so i want us to add one more and we are going to say table and in this case because whatever it is that we will be typing in is so, something like a sentence the way the questions are this the data type is going to be string and then we are going to call it let me just call it question and then everything in this table is done so we will have now uh, four tables the id the question the columns and then the created that and updated that so let us go to this other one and this other one at least we have several things that we are going to do of course we need to have the answer in this case so the value of the answer so i will say table and uh, whatever answer we are having we also be a string and then so this one i'm going to call it answer and answer like that there is also the fact that an answer belongs to a question in other words there is a relationship between a question and an answer so we need to have the id of the question on every answer such that we can be able to associate it with the specific question when we are fetching it so in this case i'm going to say table i'm going to put the id of the question so we are going to have table uh, in this case we are going to just say foreign id and we can say question id because now it is the id in questions table so i can call it question question underscore id not questions id not plural question id like that and then maybe i want it to be constrained and then also that when we delete um, this question then it can also be able to delete the answers that are related to the question because we will reach at a point where we'll be doing that so in this case i can uh, chain and say constraint let me maybe just move this one here yes we can say it is constraint constrained and this means we actually enforce referential integrity on this table and then we can also say on update we can say cascade what this means is that uh, if you update maybe the question the answer will also be automatically updated for example if the idea of the question changes of course that scenario might not happen but any change on the question uh, can also result on the on a change in the answer and then we can also say on delete we can also say cascade in other words when cascade in other words when the question is deleted the answer is also the answers in this case because we have four answers for every question so the answers will also be deleted so i would want to save this because i think there is nothing else that we are creating here and then of course there is one more thing i want also to check because for the answers we have several types of answers we have the wrong answers and then we have the correct answers so we can say table and then uh, we can say whatever it is that we have the data type it can be a boolean and inside here i want us to have correct answer and in this case we will be giving one for the correct answer one correct correct and two and and zero wrong answer so if we have four options three of them will be wrong and then one of them will be correct like that so i will save this and i think now we have done uh, changes on uh, migrations and so we can be able to run a command that will be able to migrate these tables in other words it will be able to create those tables in our database so i'm going to run the command php artisan uh, migrate and in this case there's a possibility that um, the table that i'm working on because i did not I did not set it so let me just go and set it in env before it messes us up and here i'm going to just call it quiz application and so what we are supposed to do is to go and create a table called quiz application but in this case nowadays with the laravel the database can be able to be created for us just here because it says that um, when i click enter it says the table does not exist do you would you like to create it i can say yes 
So now there is a table that has been created that is called quiz application. And then now it is migrated. So if we go to Chrome and we open Chrome, we are going to find out that there is actually a table. So localhost, we visit local localhost forward slash PHP my admin, exactly the way it is here. And once we do that, it will be able to open for us the tables. So as it opens, I would like to open a table called quiz application because it is here. And now you can see it has several tables. It has answers and then we have failed jobs and then we have migrations. We have password resets. We have personal access. These ones are tables that are shipped with Laravel by default, the migrations that are shipped by, by default. And then we have questions and users. So what you have created are questions and answers that. I also want to go and do something on uh, the question and answer model. You are going to do uh, several things. So let us open the model question app models question.php. Let us begin with this one. We are going to create a relationship between the question and answer model and currently i'm in the question model and for us to create a relationship we are going to create one to many relationship and in this case one question has many answers so what we are going to put in the question model is uh, the relationship about this question model having many answers so what i'm going to do is to have a public function and we are going to call it answers. As you can see, I'm using plural. And then we can write return this. And this, whatever it is that we are using is referring to this question model. So in this case, we are saying quest, the question has many, many. And then in this case, we can say, let me type it properly, has many. And then inside here, we can say answer full colon class so in this case we are talking about the answer model and we can save this i will also go ahead and create allow mass assignment and in this case i'm going to just say protected guarded whenever we are updating and changing the values we might end up having a challenge here and there or else we can say protected fillable and we can uh, pass in the, the column that we are allowing mass assignment for. So in this case, I can say question. The reason why I'm putting that, if you go to our, our table in the database, we have a column uh, called question, what I have passed in here. Or else you can say protected, guarded, which will still serve the same purpose. So let us go to answer model and then inside this answer model i would like also to to have a function so public function and then here this one i'm going to call it question singular i'm going to call it question singular because the answers have a relationship with a question and then inside here i'm now going to say because now if we use this we are referring to an answer each answer has a question to which it belongs to. So I'm going to write a relationship belongs to, and in this case, I can say it actually belongs to a question. So you just write question. And in this case, this is the question model. So question class. And also here we can have protected guarded, guarded that which is equals to an empty string or else we can say protected fillable and if we use protected fillable then we have to mention the columns so in this case we have the answer and i also have the question id ques question underscore id as you can see i'm only putting the columns which we have created not the ones that are existing, not the created at and updated at, and not the ID of the answer. Those ones will be taken care nicely. So 
that is what we will do in these two things and i think up until here we have progressed very well i want us to save and i want this tutorial video to end here i would 